In today's video, we're going to discuss if it's time to short Cornerstone or not since the market is at all-time highs. Cornerstone, Yield Max, and Defiance funds help us earn over 300000 per year in dividends, as you can see below. If you can't see that number, just use your fingers and zoom in. Also, our performance value shows that we're up 19% for the year, 19.5. The SP is up 11, the Nasdaq's up 12, the Dow's up 3, and the Russell's up 2. We're also at 0.43% on Friday, which beat the Dow Jones, as you can see above. So we're beating all the indexes on a daily basis, and we're beating all the indexes on a year-to-date basis using Cornerstone, Defiance, and yield max funds and many people say these funds decay and erode and don't make you any money but clearly we're beating the market living the fire lifestyle which means financially independent retire early if you need help doing the same email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com so for all of you who've been wanting my options e-guides i have an options e-guide volume 5 based on hedging your portfolio with options and boxing cornerstone and then i have volume 6 which is how to sell leap options lower your margin and get extra income in the process. So I'm gonna ask you all once again, is it time to short sell Cornerstone here at the market highs? I'm gonna go through a few reasons why I think it makes sense to do some shorting. So the first thing you need to realize here at this channel is for every $1 you put in your account, you get $4 of purchasing power. I'm just using a fraction of this 1.5 million in purchasing power to get ahead. As you can see, I have about 200,000 in debt on, margin debt on. This is low interest debt. I've negotiated down twice. Many of my clients who bought my you guys did the same thing. When you buy my you guys, you get free access to the Discord chat room for life and my phone number, so just keep this in mind. We've negotiated our interest rates down. I'm not worried about my margin rates. Also, my dividends of around 300000 will pay back this margin debt in less than one year, so I'm not worried about my margin debt. And right now, I'm dripping Cornerstone's dividends because Cornerstone has a 21% dividend, and it drips that down at the NAV. So I don't use Cornerstone dividends to pay down my margin because, again, it drips its dividends at the NAV. So I like to keep the drip on for Cornerstone and nothing else. People always ask me, when do you drip Defiance and Yield Max, and how do you pay down your margin if you drip Cornerstone? Well, I use Defiance and Yield Max, as you guys know, to pay down my margin, and then I reinvest the dividends for Cornerstone because, again, they have a 21% dividend that they drip down at the NAV for free money every month. If you own Cornerstone up here where my mouse is, they're dripping down here at the bottom for free money every month. So this is why Cornerstone is so advantageous, but you have to time it between its rights offerings, and that's in my Volume 4 e-guide. Cornerstone, as you can see here, it makes you a lot of money on a given year. It gives you a 20% dividend. It gives you that special drip I was just telling you about, and it gives you 20 to 30% premiums per year on average. I've seen 50% premiums in Cornerstone. Look here on the chart in 2020 and 2021, we had almost a 50% premium in Cornerstone. So I was getting the premiums, the 20% dividends, and I wasn't even dripping at the NAV down here in 2021. I was using Cornerstone to pay down my margin debt, but I still outperformed the market even without the special drip. So if you're from Canada or if you have a different brokerage account that doesn't allow you to drip Cornerstone, you can still outperform without the special drip. I just recommend that you pick Fidelity or E-Trade because they give you not only low maintenance, but they give you the special drip for Cornerstone. Maintenance is the secret to the fire lifestyle, if you don't know already. Maintenance, here you can see Cornerstone, we have 30% maintenance in CLM. And CRF, we have 30% maintenance as well. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to short Cornerstone, which lowers my maintenance to 5%, as you can see here in this column, this boxed column here, it lowered our maintenance to 5%. If you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. I'm always trying to lower my maintenance, not only to withstand margin calls, so we can withstand over 20% corrections here, and so withdraw freely out of our accounts and pay our bills in the process. Again, if you have 761 account value, and let's just call it 240 for a nice even number, that makes a million dollars invested, roughly. So what's a 20% correction on a million dollars invested? That's 200,000. We can withstand over a 30% correction in the market and still have 42,000 left over at our disposal to pay bills or do whatever we want with it. We can use our E-Trade credit card, swipe it and go wherever we want in this world. We can buy cars, clothes, shoes, whatever we want. Even in this margin debt, I can still withdraw freely out of my account. Okay, so that's the beauty of margin. And for every $1 you put in your account, you're automatically granted this $4 of purchasing power. It's up to you on how to use it and scale your account safely from here. You can control your destiny with margin, especially if you just use small amounts and let your dividends pay them back. So I want high available withdrawal, and the key to that is low maintenance. When I short sell Cornerstone, it boxes the position to be only at 
5% maintenance. This raises 25% of my equity. So I'm also going on a trip here very soon. And when I go on this trip, I wanna have it paid for. So I sold some put options to pay for part of my trip. These put options you can see here, we gain thousands of dollars per year in premiums from these options that we sell. And then I'm gonna pay for the rest of my trip by just short selling Cornerstone at the highs because when I short sell Cornerstone, that lowers my maintenance once again to 5%. It's like gaining free money in the process. So whenever the market's at the highs, I like to take trips and enjoy my gains. And when I do that, I sell options to get more premiums and lower my margin. And then also I short sell Cornerstone at the highs because it acts like a glorified married put with options, but it doesn't decay like options short selling with Cornerstone and it raises my equity by boxing the positions. It lowered my maintenance to 5%, which then raised my equity. Again, if you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. And if you need help with options, that's in my volume five e-guide, volume five and volume six. So email me if you need those options e-guides once again. So I'm going on this trip. I want to raise more available draw. I'll be boxing Cornerstone as a result, a small amount, just because we're at the highs. As you can see, the S&P is at the highs. Here you can see the chart and it's nearly overbought. Now, I'm not saying that this is the top. I'm just saying that when we're at the highs, I always manage risk. So we're at all time highs here on the S&P. Once again, the RSI was overbought. We had a healthy breather on Thursday and then we resumed that uptrend on Friday, it looks like. But just in case we're going lower, I'm going to be short selling Cornerstone because again, that just raises my equity because it boxes the position and lowers my maintenance. I like to short sell and box Cornerstone instead of using options most of the time because when I short sell with Cornerstone, it lowers my maintenance by boxing the position. It has less decay than options. Options decay and they expire after a certain amount of time. Short selling Cornerstone has no decay. In fact, Cornerstone sort of decays on its own as you can see by its chart. On a 10 year chart, it kind of goes sideways to down. So I offset this erosion, quote unquote, by short selling. If Cornerstone has its rights offering and it falls, you're also gonna benefit from short selling and boxing Cornerstone. So I like to short sell for many reasons, mainly because Cornerstone is the index itself. So that's how we outperform the markets. We have Cornerstone and acts as the index and we get the dividend, the premiums, and we use margin leverage. So we get our growth from Cornerstone and that's how we outperform. But on X dividend dates and on rights offerings, Cornerstone drops. So if you have a short sell position on and you box the longs against it, well, you're gonna make a lot of money during that rights offering and when the market goes down, you're protected because again, Cornerstone is the indexes. Now, options protect you from the indexes, but they have so many disadvantages. You have to pick the right strike price. You have to pick the right time. Again, I help you with all that in my options e-guides, but Cornerstone is a much more straightforward process to short sell and protect yourself against a market drop because Cornerstone is the market drop. Just make sure you buy to cover your Cornerstone position before the next X date. That way you don't have to pay the dividend. However, I like to leave the short position on because when the dividend comes, it drops the stock by that equivalent amount and then my short position actually goes up so i don't mind paying that dividend since the stock drops by the equivalent amount and i win in my shorts also if you look at the dividend yield of cornerstone at the moment it's around 17 percent but we're dripping down at 21 percent so we're getting an arbitrage opportunity here to short sell cornerstone and pay that dividend because the dividend we pay is 16 percent but the dividend that we earn is at 21 percent because it drips those dividends down at the nav so i like shorting cornerstone the market Market's at the highs. I'm trying to protect my account somehow. I always have put options on. So when it comes to protecting my portfolio at these market highs, I could buy put options or I could short sell with Cornerstone. And because I'm going on this trip soon, I want to raise more available withdrawals. So I'm going to box Cornerstone, raise 25% more of my equity. That way I can spend and do whatever I want on my trip and it not affect my available withdrawal. This is the whole key again to withstanding margin calls and withdrawing freely out of your account. Even if you don't use margin, you want to have high available withdrawals withdraw so that you can pay your bills and withdraw freely out of your account. If you sell a bunch of options or you buy a bunch of high maintenance names, this available withdrawal number will be low and you won't be able to live out of your brokerage account and you have to depend on a nine to five instead to pay your bills. So if you need more help doing what I'm doing, email me for my e-guides at akintod 48 at gmail.com. When you buy my e-guides, Discord access is free for life and my phone number is free for life. So just keep this in mind. Also, we alert you of the Cornerstone Rights Offering Announcement here
here on Discord. This is what Discord was originally started for. Yes, we have over a thousand members now here in the Discord chat on Pursuing the Fire Lifestyle who use loans and all kinds of other strategies to get ahead in their brokerage account. So whatever questions I can't answer for you, they will most likely be able to answer. But the biggest reason for this Discord charm is the rights offering announcement for Cornerstone. We're all watching this very closely. This is how we really level up our accounts. Also, if you want to follow my portfolio, just click the join button on my wall or I'll link that in the description below. I now have option services available there for you now if you're interested. And I also have the e-guides if you want those separately. So just email me for those options e-guides if you're interested in those. And if you like the video, click like or subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.